what's going on? I didn't know you guys got here. Perfect timing, you know why? I got an unboxing to do. Hey, watch y'all sit down. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Richard. Thanks for coming. Welcome to the shop. Refrigerator's over here. Grab you a beer. I already got one. And I'll get a knife and we'll cut into this. What's that? What is it? This is, man, this is my biggest purchase yet. This is a line boring machine from Tool Tech Industries. Uh, yeah, I hope it's a good one. I see right here it says made in China. But that's all right. That's all right. Well, uh, I won't, you know, try to take too long since you're, you all just got here. But, uh, Let's cut into it and see what we got. Oh, oh. This just came today via FedEx. It took a while. I think it kind of got lost in New Jersey for a while because they couldn't exactly tell me where it was. And so that was a little issue. But uh, everybody was real nice about it. Helped me out as much as they could. Came today, nice lady from FedEx helped me get it in that barn. Uh, this is uh, a very interesting piece of styrofoam. It's not good for anything. I'll throw that over there. All right, looks like we got the main mamma jamma here. I need something. I don't have anything. Something to put it on. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna get out of here. Let's get some more of this junk out of here. This is ridiculous. It's packed good. It had one little oopsie on the side of the box. Did you all see it when you came in? Just it, just a little bit. It wasn't bad. Looks like I can take this out. Let's see. Uh, one piece, maybe? All right. Here's the table for it. I'm going to set it down here on the workbench behind you. Excuse me. There we go. Um, this part looks heavy. Uh... I may need your help. Hang on a second. You know what I'm going to do? Y'all watch this trick. Pretty much. If I do this, it's pretty much not going back. But I'm just going to cut this box. Slow boat from China. You know, that used to be an old joke, but it's kind of the truth nowadays. Package of goodies. There's like some stops. Um, nice. So this is pneumatic. It's got a foot pedal here. And all I gotta do is stomp down on that foot pedal and drills holes. 13 at a time. Well, I got it out. This is it. I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, putting togethers of it and all that. I found out one thing I already do not like. And we'll just have to see how it works. This is a foot pedal. Which seems pretty good. Plastico. This is plastic. Alright, whatever. We'll have to be gentle. I see you can screw it to the floor or something. But um, I got the table to put together that this sits on. And uh, when I have it up and running, I'll uh, drill some holes and show you guys. So take off, come back later, all right? So this is what we got here. This is the stand. 
I knew I wasn't going to bother you with this. I just wanted to show you what's in this box. That's the stand. That's the legs. Comes with a couple of wrenches. Millimeters, of course. Handful of bolts. Good thing is, it looks like they're all the same size. Good deal. A couple of rails here. And we'll figure those out later. Uh, the manual. This is not a how to put together manual. It talks about squaring, installation, blah, blah, fence. Exploded. I don't need that. Maintenance, operation. We'll see. Um, real short, you know. Luckily, these are all the same size, so a guy can't really get those two mixed up. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you. It may take a few of these. But I'll get this thing together, and when I get it up and running, I'll show you. If there's something else interesting in between, I'll let you know. But anyway, all right, y'all just sit back. I'm getting closer. Tip is, get you a ratchet with a 13 millimeter. That's going to help you a lot. It comes with two wrenches. I could not imagine doing this with a wrench. I mean, man. Hey, but I'm coming. It's kind of like wrestling a fat man. Don't ask me how I know. I've wrestled fat man before, but that's a story for another time, all right? I'm going to keep on going here. It's coming along. Slowly but surely, it's coming. So this is where I got to the other night. It's been a couple days. I had to come back to you guys. It's getting late and then I had some other jobs to do. But I got together to this point. My next step is install the drill bits. They go all in there. And uh, get that in there. Then, I, man, we're about 99% done. It's looking good. Hey, it's not too bad. You know, I can talk trash about the plastic pedal, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. So we'll get it going. All right. Got all the bits in. I've been fooling with this thing for a couple hours, trying to get everything lined up, get it to where we got the same distance here on this side or this side. I'm 99% sure again that I got it. Time will tell. But it's together. I've drilled a lot of holes trying to get this thing dialed in. Um, not the easiest thing. But I think we got it figured out. Let me show you a couple modifications I did first before we try this puppy out for you. Um, new air gauge. You know. This man doesn't know anything about metrics. So I had to get one that reads PSI. So I got that little guy put on there. I got this elbow. Installed that so that the air hose will go straight down. Um, if you've noticed it before, the fitting just came straight out this way. And I mean, you had to bend the hose. Whatever. It's, I don't know why they didn't do that. But I think that works a lot better. Got that in there. Got its own little hose. It runs under the machine. Comes over here to my... This is my air supply system, 2000. Um, I need to get a clamp for this, get that secured, but couldn't find one. That goes to the machine. This is just my regular air hose. But um, that's the Tooltech Industries line boring machine. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Hold on, what? What's that? Oh, okay, yeah, you want to see it run? Is that what you're here for? Hey, and by the way, thanks for staying this long if you did. Mom, I appreciate it. Uh, maybe one, two other people kind of got up for a beer and left it running. But hey, I don't care. Let's get this thing going. Um, it does have a little issue. Uh, you got to make sure these chips are out of there. Mess up your measurements. So, uh, got the pillow down here. That works your hydraulics. Up and down. Yeah, look at that. On switch, here we go. Yeah. 
flip her around. Now, if I did everything right, distance from here to here is the same. Um, did you notice when it goes down, it has these stops here that hit your workpiece and hold it tight? Work real good. It's got some, got some pressure on there. So now you're wondering if, well, you gotta go down further, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. So when that happens, you just flip up your stop and come over here like this. And it's hard to point a hand, but let me show you here. I'll get up close. You get this lined up on your last hole, and it's got this little indicator, a little um, dial it in rod here. You get that in the hole. You got to have it in there right. So I just kind of hold it in there, push the pedal down, and then the hold down comes in. And then let's turn it on, and we'll do it. Get you a little close up. Very important you get that little set in the right place there to where these all line up because you got to do it the other side come down if you got these a little bit off you're gonna have some uh, wonky shelves but there it is man I don't know what you think I don't even know what I think yet but I'll be back we'll do a review on it after I run it I'm sure I'm gonna have to do a, a little bit more tweaking to it that's normal but it's a Good machine. I think it's going to save me a lot of time, make me some more money. Pretty excited about it. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody who um, who is here watching. Dad, thanks a lot. Uh, Y'all have a good evening or morning, whatever it may be. But come back and see me. Thank you.